What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode. Before we jump into today's video, gotta say huge shout out to Omaze for sponsoring today's video. If you guys haven't heard of Omaze, what they do is they empower nonprofit organizations to do their world changing work. Through the Omaze platform, people have supported over 350 charities, driving awareness and raising significantly more money than traditional fundraising methods. Right now, Omaze is running a campaign and one lucky winner will have the chance to choose between a four bedroom, four bathroom dream home in Austin, Texas, valued at over $1.8 million or $1.3 million in cash. You heard it right, folks cash. The best part is every single donation goes to support the Folds of Honor Foundation, which provides education scholarships to the spouses and children of America's fallen or disabled service members. So for your chance to win a stunning $1.8 million home or $1.3 million in cash. Go ahead and click the link down below and go to omaze.com slash flare to enter now. Hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of today's video. Huge shout out to Omaze for sponsoring today's video. It is brands like them that I partner up with that allow me to write over every single day, which make videos for you guys to enjoy. So with that being said, enjoy the rest of today's video. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode. Well, we got some dampness going on here. The uh, hydrant was turned on. That seems to be, I'm guessing that's Big Daddy Ralph's doing here. He's, yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying, buddy. Hey, how's it going? So, why you gotta say that about Banjo? He's just a nice guy. Don't be mean to him. Hey. You be nice to Banjo. But the, the tank was just getting after it. So we got some water issue here, but we have a special video today. We're going bow fishing, but we gotta feed our friends. Big Daddy Ralph. We got Dale, hey, your, your cast down. your cast is gonna come off soon, buddy. You still, you're still ripping the, really? Hey. Your cast is gonna come off soon. You feel, you excited about that? Dude, you see how shiny their coats are? We oh. gave them like a mineral block a little bit ago. Now their sh coats are all just like looking fresh, looking good. And then you got freaking pay. Hey, you want us to bring the RC guy? I think he wants to square up with Buddy again. Oh, White Nuts. He's not a, he's not a huge fan of White Nuts. <laughs> nah, Pedro's, Pedro gets pissed at White Nuts. So let's get these guys fed. I'm gonna try to catch Pedro. He's so mean, dude, he attacks us. Hey, Pedro. 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 <laughs> oh, he's just gonna get banned. that's all right. All right, here you go. You guys want some grain? Pedro, easy. Did you hear that? What he was hissed at you. There you go. All right, we're good. Yeah, what was that strategy? Did you hear that sound? I never, yeah. I never heard that of a turkey in my life. Here you go, Pedro. Come on, Carol. Right here, buddy. There you go. What do you think, buddy? You want some grain? What's Big Carol up to today? Hanging out? We're about ready to groom all these guys. I think I got it scheduled for June, somewhere in June or July. We got the, the groomers coming out. They're gonna give everybody a, a fresh fade, fresh haircut. Probably not Carol, but Steve, we gotta come up with a new haircut for Steve. Last year we did a mullet, which was good, but I feel like we could do better this year. So you have to let us know what you guys think. What type of haircut should we give Steve? Thinking like, I've seen them where they make like the spikes, like a, is that a, tri, tri, what, what dinosaur is that? Trianosaurus Rex? That ain't a word. Triceratops? Is that the one with the spikes on the back? Yeah, I think so. It's got those. What's, what's the one that's got all those guys looking? Is that anyone a dinosaur? Anyone a dinosaur guy? Which one has like the spikes on? The all back? the spikes all the way down the back, I down the it was tail. The triceratops, no? Stegosaurus, something like that. Oh, that might be right. That sounds like a dinosaur. Yeah. A stegosaurus, a pegasaurus. A, well, the dude with the, so. the dude. You, we'll pop up a picture. So that's we. I think we turned Steve into that guy. You guys have to let us know what you think. Whoa, Greg! Did you hear that from Greg? Greg! Hey, your friends are down at the pond. You wanna go hang out with your friends? Greg. You think he misses his friends or not? I, I feel like know. he don't miss his friends. Yeah, like he got bullied. I don't know why he's still mad. I don't think he likes Pedro. I think it's the problem. What if we took him down there just for a play date? Like, let him hang out with his friends, see what he does, and then we bring him back if he gets bullied. You like that idea? Not today, but... What's the worst that can happen if he gets killed? I wouldn't be mad at this point. He's kind of annoying. Hey! Greg! No! If you guys think that's a good idea, you'll have to let us know. We think, maybe we just bring him down there for a day. If his friends are nice to him, maybe we just let him live down there. I, I don't know. We put five down there and there's four left. I haven't seen that fifth one in like a month. I don't know what happened to Buddy. He probably got RKO'd or something like that. Greg's just a little talkative sucker. Anyways, well, we gotta go feed the pigeons and the chickens. Good morning, chickens. They already got a bunch of corn. We haven't lost that fantail yet. Does that surprise you? Yeah, I know. We haven't lost a one in a while. They're doing good. He's looking a little rough, but he's down there. See him, see him trotting around down there? He's fine. He's been doing good. So, update on the pigeons. Chickens have been laying eggs, but 
They started eating them, Banjo. Rip, they're all broken. Yeah, they broke them all. I walked in there and there's like three or four broken. So I think that once they figure out that they taste delicious, there's how much you can do from there. It's pretty much all over. We don't have any fresh farm eggs anymore. I mean, we weren't really eating them all that much anyways. We really need to get like an actual coop. Did you see what they did to that red coop, by the way? That was definitely Ralph. Who, yeah, do you think it was Ralph? Ralph or Pedro? Pedro might not like red. You think Pedro could do that though? Or not Pedro, the Ram. Quattro. 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 Yeah, I was gonna yeah, say, yeah. Pe no, Pe Pedro. Pedro is mean, but we'll, I mean, we'll go. Can't we'll do we'll show you the coop. They destroyed it. Look at the coop, folks. It didn't just fall over. Like, somebody's angry. Like, actually. Watch your Ralph. I don't know. Ralph. Come here, Ralph. Was this you, buddy? You could just stomp and Like, do that. it's. There's doors flung everywhere. It's destroyed. We put this coop in here, ideally for the chickens. And then we ended up moving the chickens to the predator proof enclosure. And it ended up working because nothing's died. But then this looks like this. It, it, this was not the wind. Like, it was vertical upright. And then all of a sudden, wa bam. It looks like uh, looks like a tornado came by yeah. and wiped it out. I don't know. It, Ralph might have. I could see him high sticking this sucker and destroying But I mean, it's like, yeah, the Roof's coming off. Look at this. Like who? What sick guy? Ralphie, come here, Ralph. He's embarrassed. He won't come and talk to us about it. Anyways, that's kind of an update on the animals. Nothing too crazy besides chicken coops getting destroyed and uh, talking about Steve, Steve's haircut. So we're going bow fishing today. We're going out with Trapper Jay. I think we're doing some like roadside ditch challenge of some kind. All the carp are spawning, so that's really easy because like all the cotton's falling, and so it, it's a little easier now than it was like two or three weeks ago to bow fish. So we've got two bows loaded up in the truck. We are gonna head out to meet up with Trapper Jay to hopefully shoot something. Carp, gar, bullfrogs, something for a catch clean cook. You guys stay tuned. Shoo! We made it, folks. Look at that. Roadside ditch. Look at the road right here. Trapper Jay is here. He's he's coming out. He's got the ice. He's getting the blow dart. But this is what we got going on here. One of these little ditches. I don't see any fish, though, do you? I'm not seeing nothing. You saw a fish here, you said? Really? I didn't see nothing. Well, I guess this side maybe is a little bit deeper. What's this side look like? If I'm going to walk up there, hang on. Let me, I said I probably should have the bow ready. Let's get the bow. Ready, folks. We got the bow ready. Sharp point. Ready for a catch clean cook, baby. Is this one of them deals where I just shoot and hit something, maybe? There's a bunch of little ripples and stuff. Try to let one rip? Yeah. Was my reel on this side last time? Well, we're looking for a fish. I think Chapter J lied. He said this was juice. He's gonna go look on the other side. Maybe he'll find something, but. I'm seeing a lot of dust clouds, but I don't see any actual fish. I took one rip out in the open and didn't hit anything. Sometimes, I've hit them like that. Sometimes you can get lucky, but I'm not seeing anything yet. Oh, I might've got one. No, I didn't. I saw bubbles. I thought I got one. I wonder if there's just a bunch of little ones that's ever seen on the dust clouds. I haven't seen a tail move yet. You might've shot them all. I only shot one. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I didn't do it. So we might have to try a different spot. Hey, how's it going? How's it going? Trap Jay, you gotta get in the water. Oh, we're good. Big meeting guy. Big meeting guy. <laughs> I'll throw the AirPods in and everything. I got someone's old crawfish trap. Nice. Well, not a fish, but something. I suck. You wanna throw that throw net up here? Let's see how it does. All right, well, Trap Jay's gonna try throwing a net since I suck at shooting fish, I guess. I can't see anything. Let's see if he gets some. Look at that pancake. Sheesh, what are you from Florida? She's and rice. Rip. Ooh, I bet you got one on that. That was a good. That was a good toss. Really? I'm feeling terrible. Well, this don't make me feel as bad about not hitting any carp. They must just be little. I don't know what else. How else you're not getting them? All right. Let's go now. Really? All right, we're moving. Maybe it's not. It's just time of day thing. Were you here in the morning or evening yesterday? It was evening. Okay. All right. Well, we're gonna move spots. This spot potential. We just we suck, or the fish are hiding somewhere. So let's go to the next spot. Shoo! We made it to the next spot, folks. This is a spot I've I've blind shot at this place and killed some. So we might have to just start doing that. The old ham hammer. Remember the blindfold challenge? Film that right over there. So we've been here before. Right off the roadside. See if we can get one. Think they don't like the sun? Do they hunker down midday? They might. Can't really hunker down from this sucker though. All right, let's let one rip. We've come here in the middle of the day though and did fine. I'm just not seeing them surface. I guess we should have been here earlier this morning. They enjoying to sleep in. I'm surprised I can't hit them on a blind shot though. You sure you can hit one. I didn't think the sun turned them off this hard. If this is a bullfrog video, it'd be all over folks. There's big chungus right there. That's not what we're after, unfortunately. We're on carp duty today, but it just ain't happening. I guess midday, broad daylight. They're not feeling it. We might, we might come back tonight or even maybe tomorrow early morning if it's, if it's not rainy or something, but I don't think it's gonna happen right now. Shoo! 
well, folks, uh, here's the deal. We went back to that spot the other night and it didn't have nothing. So, change of plans, we got the boat and we're at the Ducks Diner. This is like the main farm. You guys know the Ducks Diner if you guys are OGs. We pulled off into this little bean field, gonna end up crushing a couple beans, sorry, Kyle. We used to have a boat ramp over there, but it ended up like getting washed out. And so we're gonna try to make our own boat ramp today. It's just Zach and I, and we're hopefully, hopefully gonna shoot some fish. We kind of came down here, we saw some carp waking in this pond here. Like I said, this is the Ducks Diner. The duck pond that we built is like right over on the other side of the hill there just to give you guys an idea where we're at but this is kind of oh yeah this ain't gonna be too bad i think we, we brought a little chainsaw just in case cut down some of these old twigs here i think we're just gonna make our own little boat ramp back this sucker down the old surf and turf we got the bows and it's broad daylight and it's cloudy so it's not great conditions and it's actually a little breezy so really not good conditions at all but hopefully we can get some we've seen some big mamas big mama jamas been swimming around here so we're gonna try cruising it doesn't look like there's too many weeds or anything to get caught up in the motor we'll probably just kind of troll the motor around and hopefully oh yeah there's one right there they're like they're i think the carp are spawning because they're like jumping and eating cotton and doing carp things i guess so anyways we are going to launch the boat out here today and see if we can get some carp down on the ground for a catch clean cook so that being said let's build us a little path Hey, how's it going? I made it wide enough for the boat, not the truck. Kind of a doozy. I think we'll be all right though. Give her the old push. Oh, not sure about that. No, oh, we just need a little beefcake powder, that's all. Oh. Woo! The boat's on, boys. Let the carp shooting begin. Woo! She's a sharp one, boys. Actually, I might replace it. That one's calmed down, which is nice. Oh, dude, they're getting it out there. <laughs> they are getting it out there. Changing tips, get something sharp on there. We're gonna start cruising around. There's one right here. Giant roll. Got him, got him, dude. I got him. <laughs> Let's go. Right through it, dude. First shot. Went right through him. First shot, bro. Dude, what? <laughs> what? I can't believe I hit that, dude. I'm not even kidding. Like, I don't shoot fish that often. I am shocked. <laughs> Look at that guy. Sheesh. Dude, right through him. I cannot believe I just hit that. I was like, I didn't freak out or anything because I definitely thought I'd miss. He got absolutely KO'd on round one. Oh, this is awesome, dude. They're going nuts. This is a baby compared to what we're seeing. Sheesh. Well, we got lunch, son. Let's keep shooting. Dude, I cannot believe that just happened. I cannot believe that just happened. That's freaking sweet. Look at all the little ones. See all the little dust clouds? This place is low. We've never bow fished before. We've had this farm for like four years now. Never bow fished it. This is crazy. I want that big mama though, dude. There's some like little 30 pounders ripping around here right now. Like right here. Oh, right here. Oh, he's coming. Where'd you go? Oh, I got him again! I got him again! Shut up! Shut up! I got another one, dude! How did I just hit two in a row? What? Dude, he almost looks like a freaking goldfish. You see that? That thing is orange. Super orange, bro. <laughs> two for two. How am I hitting two for two? This is wild. This is so wild. I cannot believe that one. I didn't even see him. I could just see his wake and I just shot right into it. Oh my God. He got absolutely murked. We're eating good today, boys. Two for two. I cannot believe that, dude. This is, why have we not ever done this out here? Like, I feel like I've missed out my entire life on shooting these fish right here. The whole time we're traveling around, hitting the river, hitting creeks, hitting ponds. They've been in the freaking Ducks Diner all along. We just had no idea. Oh, this is awesome. At night would be epic though. We got to come back and do this at night. If you guys want to see us take, we could, I mean, I feel like we could take the big rig. It'd be tough, but I bet I think you- we could make it work. I bet we could. It's, I mean, I guess we could rig up some type of like little light bars on this boat or something like that. Cause yeah. I do like how small and like light this boat is. I cannot believe this, dude. They're just everywhere. They're giants. We've got to shoot one of these big mamas. Banjo's missing out today. This, oh, is, this yeah. is a good day. Cause we could both be sitting up here shooting them. Should've got just rolling some GoPros and you and me could just hammer <laughs> these little suckers. Dude, they're oh. so big, bro. There's giants. Oh, there's a big, sh big Sheila right here. Everywhere. Oh no my way. God, I went three for three! No way. I went three for three! Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. That's a bigger dude, that's one, dude. A good one. That's a big one, dude. That's a giant. That's a giant. Three for three, dude. Three for three. Oh God, he's almost gonna come off. <laughs> Woo! 
three for three, dude. I don't know how this is happening. I have no idea. Dude, that's a big in a two. <laughs> This is freaking This wicked. is insane, dude. I've like I've never shot like this before in my entire life. These are not easy shots. Half of them you don't even see the fish, you just see their their wake and just get absolutely smoked today, dude. Sheesh. That's a better one. That's what I'm talking about right there, boy. That's still not Oh, what is that's a snake! Look at the snake right there. Oh god yeah. I should shoot one of those old suck. Oh, Rhett, what happened here? Well malfunction. Dude, we these are. I'm telling you guys, these are still. Did I break this sucker? These are babies compared to what's out here. Why is that thing not screwing down? Really? This is like a hundred dollar reel. Why is it not seating? Am I missing something here? Dude, this isn't expensive. Does it pop on at all? Then you screw it, or what's... Oh, I guess there are a couple little. It should eventually just catch though. Dude, it's like they're to hitting top water, busting on frogs and stuff. I did bring another bow, so if this is a doozy, I can shoot the other one. So I always bring an extra. Is it reverse threads? No. Really? I might have to shoot the old other one. Oh, she's retired for today. We got the new bow. I, I, I joked. I said I'd probably just start missing it out. But, dude, look. Can you guys just see that out there? That is chaos. There's a giant on our left. All right, we got to start slowing up with the boat. Dude, they're going crazy, bro. Oh, they're, there's two of them. They're, they're definitely doing the dirty. Look at them. Look at them. Buddy's getting it on. I don't really want to interrupt, to be honest. But That's what they're doing. Dude, see them? There's two of them. I see both their top fins. Odds you can get a collat. So what if I get a collat, dude? <laughs> oh god. Oh, there's rip. That's not good for it. Oh, it's right there. Oh. I don't know if I got him enough. That wasn't big enough. See, I knew I'd start missing once I picked this bow up. <laughs> that was a pretty good size one. I hate this thing. This thing sucks. All right, we're 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 in big big shield territory now, son. This game over. That's one. a Meg. I'm not even gonna shoot the little guy. I want big shield up there. Dude, can't tell how big this one is. Dude, look at him going crazy. There's two right here. I think I got him, didn't I? Dude, I hate this reel so much. Nope. Dude, I gotta get that other reel fixed. This is not good. This is not good. We made it to Big Sheilaville and I'm messing around with this stupid bow. Oh, dude, there's tanks right here. Got him, got him, got him. We got him, son. We got him, son. Come on, real. You got it. We got another one. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's not a giant, but it's a decent one. I'll take it. Shoot! Let's go, baby. Okay, we're in big shield. We got to hurry up and get another one. Are they fighting or are they getting it on? They're, they're, they're getting it on. Getting it yeah, on? Yeah, they're spawning. They're getting rowdy like Banjo. All right. I want one big one. Give me one big one. That's a pretty good size one, isn't it? Dude, they're everywhere right now. One coming right towards us. You see two of them like constantly. There's always two. There they are. That's big shield there. Do you see them? They're literally just together. They're not, those two aren't that big. Look, they're right here though. Right here, right here, right here. Look at them. Those were, those are good size. I'm getting picky now. I mean, how pissed would you be if you were, you know, somebody just laced a bow right, oh, right yeah, there, right there. Oh yeah, that'd be unfortunate. Big buzzkill. Oh, I might have missed, I think I missed him. A little left, that was a big one. No. He's right here. Oh, dude, don't line him up. Oh, right here, bro. Right here. I get him. I got him. I got him right there, dude. Right there. Oh, no, he come off. He was right here, dude. I just saw a, a, like a light white stripe, and I shot right at it and smoked him. I had him. Yep, look at that. That was a big scale, dude. That was big and right there. He was right under us. Holy crap, dude. This is, I've never seen nothing like this in my life. We've been missing out, son. This is wild, dude. This is wild. Oh, I think I missed him. They're still doing it. I think this has got to be the worst. This reel's got to be the worst reel on planet Earth. This thing doesn't make any sense. I have no idea if I got that one. It's so hard. Got close. I think I might have got him. I see my line moving. Maybe. Maybe. 
I suck with this bow. I suck. Those were close. Those were really close. Ooh, this guy's real shallow. It slowed up a little bit. I think we might have spooked some, but I'm looking for big Sheila still. Not much going on down there. There's a couple. That's a decent size. Might have been a little low. Nope, nope, he's on. Oh, he, he come, come off. off. I had him. Oh. I had him. He come off. That was a good one. I didn't realize I had him. Yeah, that was a good one. That was the biggest one for sure. Oh, what the hell? This, I think this whole bow, this rig sucks. I was doing so good with the other one. The arrow on this thing sucks. I just suck. That was a good one because we've lost a couple on this one now. I wonder why. That that seems like that would hold him pretty good. You reckon the arrow's not that sharp or the broadhead? It's pretty sharp. I mean, yeah, I could swap it out with that other one. We'll try to sharpen it and get a sharper broadhead going. All right, we got this. The reel is still not seating right, but I got it to where it's not coming off. I just have to like duct tape it or something. I feel way more confident with this guy right here, and the broadhead's a lot sharper. Nope, you missed. It's really close though. At least your reel stayed together. Yeah, it didn't fall apart. Yeah. Oh, there's something right here. Got him. Got him. Got him. Yeah, we got him. Oh, yeah. Let's go, baby. Shoot! He's a fighter. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, big mama. Oh, big mama. Oh, big mama. Oh, big mama. Yes, sir. She. Oh, God. Right through the dome ski. Come here, Sheila. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. Sheesh. Don't get, don't get stabbed now. Dude, that's a big That's a big one. That's the biggest one we got yet. Well, folks, I would say that's big Sheila. Like, she was actually a Sheila. So, I would say that's good for now. We've got plenty of fish to eat. If you guys want to see us do this again, though, let us know. We're going to take this home. We're not done yet. We're going to do a catch king cook. I think we're going to run to Walmart, get some ingredients, and really try to make this carp taste good. Because we're not just shooting these things. I mean, again, they're not really... They're trash fish. I mean, most people catch them, shoot them, I guess I should say, and throw them on the bank for fertilizer. But we're going to try taking them home and cleaning them and seeing if we can find a good recipe or come up with something on our own that'll actually make these suckers taste good. So that way, if you guys at home go out and shoot some carp, they don't just go to waste. I mean, you hate to just shoot something just to throw in a ditch. So if you can make it taste good, you might as well go for it. So with that being said, we'll see you guys back at home. Shoo! Look at that right there, folks. That is a whole fillet from one of the carp here. We're gonna give this a dangle. We are making carp patties, okay? It's kind of like a crab cake. Carp cake, let's call it carp cake instead of a carp patty. Carp cakes. What you're gonna need are all these ingredients here and I'm gonna go ahead and go through them with you guys so that way you guys at home can maybe copy this recipe so the whole idea is figure out how to make these suckers taste good. Look at all that red meat on there. Yuck. Most people would not eat that. We're not even gonna cut it out. We're not even gonna trim it. We're just gonna throw it in like that. We do have a food processor. You can just chop it up real fine. I think a food processor is really gonna like make it to where you don't get a big chunk of carp. You know, I feel like that's gonna throw the whole thing off a little bit. So it says two eggs, but this is for two pounds. This is only one pound of meat. So we're gonna go one egg in the bowl, just like that. Next up, we've got some green onions, which are scallions, which I'm, I'm low key kind of pissed about the whole thing, okay? It says scallions. I go to the store, they have only green onions. I'm like, those look like scallions, but they say green onions. And then I talk to Macy and Macy says, a scallion is a green onion. Here's my question. Why not just call it a freaking green onion? There's gotta be a reason. Macy, do you wanna Google this? Do you want to Google this? What is the difference between a scallion and a green onion? Is there a difference? And if not, why do you call them scallions instead of green onions? Anyway, so that's what you're going to need. And this is calling for three tablespoons, okay? So you're, are you supposed to just use like the, not the bulb part, right? Does it tell you if you want the green or the white? Nope. It says three tablespoons of scallions sliced thinly at an angle. Would you like to put down an actual cutting board? Oh, uh, sure. First? Sure. Why not? So this okay. is... So just give it one of these guys. Yeah. So it's just cut in an, at an angle. What's the strat on the angle? Is it just aesthetics or probably don't taste any different, does it? No. I just want it to look. I feel like you're gonna chop it finger off. I might. I'm trying to get some good you're views. Not using the claw. Oh, you're supposed to just only use your knuckles. Then you just hit your knuckle, not your finger. I learned that in food class. Are you gonna give the people at home the answer? Are those like small enough, you think? Apparently they weren't. Like that makes way more sense to me because like you take a bite of this. Okay. Yeah, I know, they're getting out, I'm starting to dry. Okay, so I read what they got to scallions say. are a bit milder than green onions. Oh, so there like, is a difference. I guess so, mm -hmm. but they're like the same family. So should I use less? Just depends on how onion you want it. So it calls for three tablespoons, but that's for again, two pounds of fish, we only have one pound, so it'd be like a one and a half. So I might just go for like a solid one. Proper you how to use is, this, is this proper technique? No? Oh. Listen, as long here, as you got it. What's wrong? Let's see it. Let's see. Here's an idea. Hang on, you go. You want to hear my plan here? I got. I have an idea. She's not about it. I go and kill things, and she cooks them. 
You do half the video, I do half the video. Why don't you? I don't want to eat it. Banjo will eat it. I do the catch and the clean. She does the cook. Banjo does the eating. I feel like that's a good system. Imagine if, like, I just left the room and Macy just took over the cooking vlogs. It'd be a lot less painful for everyone to watch. <laughs> Sheesh. She's hating on it. Okay, how's that? That's... Did you see the technique? I was not paying attention, to be honest. Let's see. You put your you palm do, down. You do the rock? The rock technique? I've heard of that. Yeah, see, you rock it. Okay, okay, yeah, I see you. Yeah, thank you. All right, so if this measures up to be about a tablespoon or a little bit more, I think that's probably what we're gonna need. Thanks for your assistance. Oh yeah, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and we're just gonna go ahead and throw this whole thing in there. Green onions or scallions, I guess, whatever the difference is, we're throwing we're throwing this guy in there. Boom. All right, so. Scallions, green onions are in. Next up, I've got an iPad right here, by the way. This is, I'm not, I'm, I, it's like, I, I need like a teleprompter, then I can like look official. What, what if like Banjo's in the back just like, three tablespoons of pepper, and I'm just like, <laughs> okay, and then it looks legit. Italian parsley leaves chopped. So this is all I found. Is that that? Yeah. And we need uh, three tablespoons, so a tablespoon and a half-ish. Okay, so this is parsley. Boom, okay. I feel like that's a lot of parsley, no? I don't know, I mean, I thought it was, but I wasn't gonna say anything. It says, oh, teaspoon, no, I'm just kidding, it's, it's tablespoons. Three tablespoons, okay. Two teaspoons of sea salt, which is probably like a, more? How many? How Two many? teaspoons? We need one teaspoon. Oh, one teaspoon? More than that. How salty are you making this sucker? That's gotta I be a teaspoon. To visualize right? the size of a teaspoon. Let's see it. Okay, give, give her a couple more. That's probably, sure. that, that's solid, that's solid. Okay, next up, half teaspoon of ground black pepper. So probably, so we need like a quarter. So just a, probably just one of those guys. That definitely was not the right ratio. Maybe a little bit more salt. Okay, one tablespoon of grated ginger. You got that? How do you grate it? Well, it's already grated. Oh. You might have to heat it up because it's frozen. Quarter teaspoon of ground coriander. What exactly is this thing? What's coriander? Oh, here you go. It's warm and sweet with a hint of lemon. In case you're hearing, I didn't, I didn't never heard of coriander Me before. Me neither. Ooh. Sheesh. Ooh. That's the, that's the good stuff. Okay, so we need an eighth of a teaspoon. Just a little guy right here. A little coriander action. Bam! Half of a medium lime. Boom, we have a lime. So half of this lime. You always want to give it one of these guys. Get them juices flowing, folks. We have a lime juicer, don't we? Yeah. What's going on, you all right? I'm allergic to ginger. Rip. What's wrong? You gonna die? No, it just kind of makes my chest tight. <laughs> well, don't die on us now. All right, there you go. Okay, don't touch it. Oh. Wash your hands or something, don't die. Okay, so this was a half a tablespoon. Good enough. All right, half of a lime. Which one do you put it in? The green one, because it's a <laughs> lime. See, they color code it for people like me. Yep. They don't fit. That's what oh. she said. Okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, lime the size of a lemon. Bingo. Half a teaspoon of chipotle powder, which is, we got some chipotle chili pepper powder. Uh, that's a mouthful right there. What did I say? Half a teaspoon? That's what she said. <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> half a teaspoon. Is it a half? No, it's yeah. one. It's one, okay. and I'm I'm doing math. Bam. You want, you want a carb cake? Fish sauce, going in hot, eighth of a teaspoon. You're telling me this, you can taste this? There ain't no way you're tasting this. Bam! Oh God! What's three? What's three fourths divided by two? Uh, One point five two to two. <laughs> Stop doing math out loud because I can't do it in my head. <laughs> two thirds. No. Seven eighths. <laughs> Six twelfths. Come on! Come on! Come on! Thirty one uh, on the ACT. Let's go. Uh, it'd be a fourth plus an eighth, so it'd be three eighths, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, three eighths. Because three fourths is six. Oh yeah, you times the bottom to do the new the divide. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just cut it there. <laughs> three eighths! Three eighths panko breadcrumbs, folks. I got you breadcrumbs to put three eighths of a teaspoon in A there. cup. Three eighths of a cup. I'm gonna add that last, because I think that's more of like a fold in. Anyways, okay. let's get this, put this thing in the food processor. So once you've got your clean carp, oh God, throw that sucker right in there. So this is for one pound. If you have two pounds, just double my recipe. Do we chop or grind? Um, I would chop. <laughs> I feel like that's fine though. You might want to get out of here. That's, I will say, not the most appetizing deal I've ever made right there. That's, yeesh. So throw that sucker in there. All right, so mix this thing up. Okay, low key, it doesn't look too bad now. It's spraying everywhere. I don't know what she's talking about. I never saw nothing. Looks like Pico. You should just grab a chip and like get you a ceviche. <laughs> There's lime in it. Honestly, it's probably fine. That lime juice will make it to where like, it's just straight Yikes. edible. How much would I have to pay to take a bite of this? Not like this, but like cooked. Name your price. Can't even 
begin to name a price. What? We didn't miss anything. Where, where is this sucker coming to play? Oh, is that the sauce? We are making sauce, by the way. We're making some spicy fish sauce. Okay, three eighths of a cup. How do you do three eighths? I would do a fourth and then just do like about a half. All you kids that want to go drop out of school, good luck cooking. Boom, I'll mix all that in. Yeah, that smells pretty all good. Dude, I think it's gonna be fire. <laughs> this isn't that bad, honestly. Like. <laughs> what could we add to spice it up a little bit? I, I think a little bit more salt ain't gonna hurt nobody. Maybe we'll throw a little more onion in yeah. there just to like offset it at some. Bam. All right, that will that might add just a little bit of something. So once your mixture looks like this, folks, you're gonna take it. This is where you get down and dirty. Is it sticking together? It's not bad. I think it's fine. They can be little patties. Well, oh no, we have bread. We gotta make big daddies. Oh yeah. We're gonna make them into a sandwich. You think that's a good idea or no? Like, crab, like a burger? Like a crab cake sandwich, carb cake sandwich. You have don't you ever had a crab cake sandwich? We had that discussion yeah. that we, neither like one I of us said yes, but we also thought this might be a game changer. Maybe you should do some little and then like one big. I'm about to sneeze. Oh. <laughs> I didn't want to sneeze on my hands. <laughs> But I also don't want to sneeze everywhere else. Why did you sneeze like that? How else am I supposed to sneeze? Silently. No, it hurts. You can't do that. So we're gonna make a few small ones and then we're gonna make one big one for a sandwich. Just to see, is it good or not? All right, let's make Big Daddy here. All right, we got one more. Boom! There's your patties. We got one mega for the sandwich. The rest are just gonna be kind of appetizers. So, is that oil heated up yet? I just turned it on. Sheesh! Throw it on there, son. Oh, Rip, we had a... Oh, hey, hey, saddle down, buddy. Turn that down a little bit. Oh, yeah. Just a little... Oh, no, Rip, Rip. You gotta blow out. These aren't staying together as good as I expected. Sheesh. Carb cakes are in. So get golden crispy on one side, flip them. And then we're gonna cook the burger last, just see kind of how these guys turn out. I have a feeling they're gonna kind of fall apart a little bit when I'm kind of scooping around and stuff like that, but I feel like this is gonna be the best tasting carp we've ever had. So fingers crossed. So while these guys are cooking, let's get started on the sauce. For our spicy fish sauce, what we're gonna start with is one tablespoon of fish sauce. Which I don't even know what fish sauce is. It sounds kind of gross, not gonna lie. We'll go one tablespoon of that. And then one tablespoon of rice wine vinegar, this stuff right here. Not sure much, much, much of a sauce this is. One tablespoon of fresh lime from a half a lime. So you got half a lime. I feel like it's more like a soy sauce. Yeah, I thought it was like a dipping sauce. Yeah. All right, half a lime. One tablespoon of ground coriander. A bunch, more, more of this coriander stuff. Whoever made this big coriander guy. All right, I mean, okay. What kind of sauce is this though? Real talk. I was expecting some tartar. Spicy dipping sauce. Am I missing something? Well, this dipping sauce ain't the deal. We might have to have a game plan number two. I mean, I'm down to like, try to put- Give it a dabble like that. Not the move. Tastes like just straight up like vinegar and ass. I don't even know what that is. Like nothing about that is at all complimenting a meal of any sort. How's that, how's that going? You take them off? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Look at those guys. Little golden crispies. Well, we gotta come up with a better dipping sauce. Let me see what we got in the fridge. We have mayonnaise, we have ranch, cream cheese, chocolate milk. Anyone got any ideas here? You got red hot? Yeah. Mix it with some ranch. We could do that. Or you could do red hot and mayonnaise. Yeah. Like that would be a good, like a little, little, little spicy spread. Let's get some spicy spread going. All right, so we're changing the plan. So whatever that is, to some mayonnaise and Frank's, which we've never, we've done, I think we did ranch and Frank's, which wasn't bad. I feel like mayonnaise is a little bit more tame than ranch, not quite as much spice. So we'll give it one of those guys. Throw a little bit of that in there. This is where this little whisk we talk about comes in handy. Spicy mayo. What else could you add to this? Should we look up a recipe called spicy mayo and then see what else they yeah. put in there? I don't really taste like much. I wonder what some duck buffalo did but... Ooh, you can throw a little duck's buffalo seasoning in there. What's that? Sambal oilic. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it says. That's pretty good, it's spicy. Is it? Yeah. What does this do? It's chili paste. Ooh. Sheesh. You, you want me to use this? Yeah. Throw a little Not bit? a mutt, yeah, don't put Yep. Alright. You can put a little lime juice in there. Really? You sauce guy now or what? <laughs> so, you know, I could use a little lime juice. No, what? Since when do you make sauces? All right. Oh, that wasn't sufficient. Got it. Noted. Cheese and rice. What are you trying to do? It's a sauce, not just straight lime juice. 
It just tastes like Franks and mayo. Do like, you have Worcestershire? Yeah. Yeah. Give it a splash. You want, you want to hold that? You're a big sauce guy now? Everyone's like, you know what? It can, it, you know, it well, I just probably... know, didn't you use that for the uh, Worcestershire canes? fire. For the canes to give it a little... Oh, you burn it? What the heck? What'd you do? You are not on patty duty anymore. You've ruined our burger. Where's the oh, Worcestershire sauce? Oh. We don't have it. Yeah, we do. Where? Let's see it. I don't think we have it. It's right in that door. We use it all. You know what? I think it's a sign you're not supposed to make into a sandwich. Because we can't yeah. get the sauce right. Our patty fell apart. We might just... Sandwich is just not gonna happen, I don't think, today. I think the sandwich lords are telling us, that ain't it, chief. You're not supposed to put carp on a sandwich. That's just... Not the deal, so. You know, hopefully the dogs are hungry. We're gonna just call it good there. Let's go taste the cakes we have. Hmm. It does not taste like fish at all. I will say that. Well, that's good. It's got a lot of flavor. Like too much? A little bit. I'm, I'm gonna figure out how to describe it. It's like- Herby? Yeah. Too much parsley? Like there's just, it just tastes like you're eating a meat that's just all seasoning. Too much seasoning. We overdid it a little bit. Needed more fish to tone it down. It's spicy. My mouth's getting it. This is hot. Those are spicy? Yeah. That chili, I think. I'm not vibing on it. We made this with catfish last year. Pretty much the same recipe and it was a lot better than this. It's not fishy at all though. It's, you got, uh, you try it. Maybe you can describe this better. Mm -hmm. You trying this or what? Absolutely not. <laughs> it's just like, I'm not sure how to describe it. It's not bad. It's it's definitely not bad. There's a lot going on, and I'm not sure if it's a good thing or a bad thing. If I'm eating bones or not, I can't figure that part out either. Mm. It's it's weird. It's not. Yeah. You don't eat it. And you're like yuck. I got a little bit of fish. Did you? But like for for having just a bunch of red like meat. A biscuit. Of yeah, of some sort. Yeah. I'm not sure if I like it or not. Like I'm not sure if I would make it again. That piece was better. Maybe I had a bad piece. Maybe my cake was a little too seasoned. I'm going for a sauce dip. Ooh. Okay. I kind of take back what I said. This is better. Maybe my patty sucked. What do you think about that one? That's, oh. Is that better? On the sauce. Really? I like it. Oh, yeah. It is pretty good in the sauce. Yeah. I think, my, no, my patty wasn't very good. I think this one's better. This is the first one I had. This is... Oh, yeah. And that was the first piece I really got something like out mm -hmm. of the middle. Mm-hmm. Pretty good. I ate it. It's not bad. I would say, like, for carp, though, oh, it's the best carp. Car it's the best carp I've ever had. I'm thinking we need to tone back some of the seasonings. It's just, like, my mouth. You know when you take a bite of something that's got, like, too much pepper on it and, like, your mouth just kind of gets after it for a little bit? It's not like it didn't taste bad. It's just, like, man, that's kind of a lot. That's how I'm feeling here. We did have 10 ounces of fish, and we did the ratio for one pound. So we actually, if, think, you, if you think about it. I think it's the ratio. 10, 10 ounces is more. closer to a half a pound than it is a pound. Yeah. So I think we might have went, which I thought was a good idea to go a little heavier because it would mask the taste. But I'm thinking if you guys do the measurements we did, make sure it's at least one pound of fish. And I think you'd be better off. It's oh, just, yeah, it's a sure. little strong on the Dial seasoning. Ratio, Dial the ratio down a little bit or up and, and kind of match it up a little bit. But for carp, that's not bad. It oh, doesn't yeah. taste like fish at all. It's just heavily seasoned crab cake is kind of what it tastes like. So anyways, that's what we made of it. Let me know what your guys' favorite recipes are. We're probably gonna go back out and shoot some more, hopefully. Maybe go out at night, maybe take the big rig. We're not really sure, but we do like cooking them, finding new recipes. So we'd love your help in the comment section down below. Let us know if you've ever shot carp or caught carp and eaten them, what your favorite recipe is in the comment section down below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you for watching and peace.